money. <laughs> They're moving water, man. There's one. There he is. Feels good. You never know with a jerk bait. Uh, <laughs> it just foul hooked a little bit. You know, a lot of people um, fish jerk baits. For me, it's a year round lure. Um, you know, I throw them in the spring, the summer, the fall, the winter. What I love about it is the way that the fish just react to it. I know if I get the bass in a zone where they can see it that they they can't help but bite it you know i mean it's just one of those deals that it's that action that really triggers them so i have a jerk bait ready to go anytime i've got a clear water situation you know and we've got a great one at strike king the 200 series and the 300 series jerk baits they're really wild action slash type baits and they run really good down to about five or six foot but there's a lot of situations where you need a deep jerk bait to get to that next zone. And that's what we built. So I tried to design one that has the same features and attributes that I want in a shallow slash bait that would work well in deep water. You know, first it has to cast really well. It's gotta get down and I wanted to have three hooks. I mean, your hook percentage is so much better just by adding that third hook. So I want a big profile. That's what catches big fish. So a big, long, deep diving jerk bait's hard to find. One that you can really work hard and, and that's what this one really does well. It's a brand new bait and it's no secret that every year the Bassmasters Classic, it's in February and March. So we wanna design lures that you have a chance to win the Classic on. This year, it's on Grand Lake. I mean, I've been working on this lure for a year and uh, it's a special one, you know? And again, the way that I like to fish these things is I'm gonna make a long cast. It's got a weight transfer, so it, it really cuts the wind real well. And then I'm just gonna start my retrieve. You know, if it was cold in the winter, a retrieve like this is gonna be real good, you know, where you just pause it for a couple of seconds. The number one thing with a jerk bait is to make sure you're working it with slack in the line. And uh, I'm gonna do that, you know, for that uh, slower retrieve. But a lot of the fishing that I do, especially in the summer or in the Great Lakes for smallmouth, you really gotta make that bait jump. And to be able to have a bait like this that I can get eight or 10 feet, you know, and get down to that zone where the fish can see it is critical. So like here at Kentucky Lake right now, you can see about maybe a foot. And I just couldn't get down to 10, 12 feet with a standard jerk bait and have these fish find it. So having this lure that'll run 10 to 12 foot really makes a big difference. And the way that I like to fish the thing when it's warm, especially for these, you know, clear water lakes is, man, I wanna, I'm gonna snap it. You know, I'm gonna really hit it hard but you always work it with slack. You can see, I mean, I can jerk this thing as hard as I want like that and it won't foul, it won't roll. And that's what no other deep diving jerk bait will do. So this is a really special bait. It's one that's gonna be very versatile for me. And again, it's, it's not replacing the other jerk baits that I have. It's just another tool that gets me to the next depth zone that I haven't been able to reach before. You notice that I've always got slack in the line when I start and finish. And I never pull a jerk bait towards the boat with a reel. I'm always using the rod to move the line and the reel just picks up the slack. So I'm gonna use a high speed reel. I can make it three times before I turn the handle once. So I'm moving the bait very little forward, but it's got a lot of side to side erratic action with that type of retrieve like that. Just let the rod tip recoil right back at the lure. And boy, those fish just can't handle it. That quick movement is what really sets it apart. The other thing that I think is critical for a jerk bait is having the right action rod. You know, that, that medium heavy, I throw a 610 medium heavy, my own signature Tour KVD Quantum, and it's got a fast tip, but a lot of backbone and match it with fluorocarbon line. When I'm working it real hard like that, you know, like for smallmouth or largemouth during the hot water times, I'll get away with a little heavier line, you know, lose a little bit of my depth. The lighter the line, the deeper that bait's gonna go. So I'll go up to 14 pound line just so that low stretch, bigger diameter line really makes that bait jump. When the water's cold, I wanna get the maximum depth out of it. I'll go down to eight or 10 pound test line. You're working it a lot easier. You know, you wanna get that lure down to 10, 12 feet and keep it in that zone. So that smaller, lighter line will help the bait do that. And you're not looking for that wild erratic action then. So giving up a little bit of action then is actually a good thing. So if you got the right setup and the right bait, a jerk bait is deadly. And the great thing to me about a jerk bait right now is there's been so much emphasis on umbrella rigs the last few years, and rightly so. It's so efficient, you can cover a ton of water with an umbrella rig, it's easy to use, 
and they're really powerful. It's got such a draw to it having those five swim baits on there. But a lot of people have forgot about jerk baits, and the jerk bait is still, if there's bass sitting in one particular spot in that period of the year, I don't think there's a better lure to get them to bite, especially a big one. So I'm really looking forward to Grand Lake and. Uh, and giving this new, uh, the Strike King deep diving jerk bait a try. You know, two years ago when we were there for the classic, I caught a lot of good fish on a jerk bait. And having this in my arsenal would have made a big difference for me to allow me to get to that next level, that next deeper level of water, because the water just is not that clear down there. So you got to get that lure down to the zone that the fish are in and get them to find it. Hopefully, this is going to be one of those tools uh, that's going to help me be successful at the classic.